All right, guys. So this thing, this is why I'm here. Um, I saw this on a local um, RV Facebook page. And then I was driving through town here a couple weeks ago. I'm in Norfolk, Nebraska, and I saw it sitting on the side of the road here. And I did not know if it was at this shop getting work done to it or whatnot, but then I saw it posted again and I put the names together and I realized it was probably his. So I shot him a message and here I am. I'm gonna get a walk around to this vehicle. Um, he's traveled all over. This is kind of a new build, but he's got his other van that he's traveled all over down into Baja and stuff with. Um, He's not too keen on being on camera, so we'll, you'll kind of hear him talking in the background and kind of explaining about what this is. But we're gonna take a look at his van first. Ooh, that sounds beefy. What size of lift is on this? I built it myself. You built it? Seven, like six or seven. Got a six ton hidden winch. Aluminum twist car that I stole out of a 2012 Silverado. I had to remove about five inches from the center. Okay. So is this originally a, an all wheel drive all -wheel van? All wheel drive, yeah. Of course we have. RV step. I don't see too many people using like the actual RV style awning on theirs. Well, it's a lot sturdier than the ones they sell. Well, it seems a lot simpler to set up than folding it out and having to set up all your poles. The other ones we had, they were just little chunks of aluminum that didn't work very well. Oh yeah. I need something like that on my truck. I've been debating for a long time to put like the Batwing awning on my truck, but they are incredibly expensive. It seems way overpriced for what you're actually getting. This, this is kind of messy right now, but we do have, we have our fridge, microwave, all the stuff, but fridge, microwave, TV, there's a bed in the back that you guys could see, so. There's a... Uh... Oh, the seat spin around? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's really nice. It's got lighting all the way around. There's switches that'll toggle up from the front. You hit them, all of them come on. Uh, what size motor does this have? 5.3. 5.3. 200,000 miles, and there's not a problem with it myself. Handmade, all aluminum, he did these all his own. The roof rack also. Trailer storage. So custom storage under the floor, which is where the spare tire used to be at, but will no longer fit. So you extended that down a few inches yep. too? Yeah. We have our custom little cylinder holder. Hey, that's a good idea. We use the same for tarps, shoes. Huh, that's a great idea. I might steal that one. So it's a little rough, but hey. It's used. It gets you where it's, you need uh, to go. I'm not too good about doing interiors, but hey, it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's sound. I'll drive it anywhere. Spares. Yeah, I need a full I size mat. I put vinyl on here to make it look like windows. But there's oh, so it's originally just a blackout or just a, a panel van. Panel van. I thought you had covered the windows up. Nope. Nope. Makes it look a little bit more uh, normal, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. How many watts of solar up there? Uh, I believe it's three, 340. It's a full solar panel. There's air conditioner heat up there. Yeah, nice rig. to check him out and I'll also link his uh, uh, you have a Facebook page for this is that also yeah, Instagram that's just, Facebook. just Facebook okay and then here guys this was the main reason I came down um, so it, it simply it looks pretty basic I mean it's a it's a really basic idea but 
this is something that like it just it never crossed my mind to just take a, a rv trailer like that and set it onto a frame here and this is i don't know the exact model of this but this is a retired military vehicle it's a 1995 lmtv 1995 lmtv so this was it's factory four-wheel drive are though is that like a stock size tire no that's oversized oversized tire okay so i mean basically anything you can tell me about this kind of how you got the idea or i got the idea from someone else i pretty much stole it <laughs> i just seen it done a couple of times i like unimogs and i was really interested in a unimog but they're kind of spendy so this is a little cheaper way to go well a retired u.s military vehicle is going to be easier to find than a the, the parts are definitely easier yeah. to find so i just kind of we picked up the truck in colorado it came already white with the cab white and uh picked up the camper out of uh council bluffs iowa and we put them together what size of uh, camper trailer is that i believe it's a 17 foot 17 yeah it was pretty good you can you can you can look at the inside if you like so it's a rockwood geo pro travel trailer guys we do have propane tanks and generator that are going to go under here all welcome to go up there and record the inside. So he, I saw this like on the the last post on Facebook, and I thought that was really interesting. So that's a deck, and it's just a uh, like a tray on slides yep. that pulls out, and then he's got a stairs mounted here to get up and down. Since obviously, it's a very tall vehicle. We'll we'll hop up here, and I'll just pop the door open, show you guys that it's a camper. It's a camper. Um, so basically with this, anything that you wanted to mount on here, you could. It's just a, it's a factory camper. It's not hand built. It's basically ready to go when you get it. Now what size tire is that? It's a 53 inch tire. 53 inches. Wow. And then, uh, does the self-inflating stuff yeah. and all that yep. still work? Still the functions? Yeah, yes, the central tire inflation system. Yep, it all works. Comes in handy in the sand or other places. And did you do any kind of like modifications to the frame itself nope. on the truck? Nope, the frame is all stock. Did it have the flatbed on it when you it, got it? It did. It did. At I got rid of that. So it's like mounting the the trailer on here. Uh, you just pull the axle and and build brackets or? Um, yeah, I built these brackets here, um, and I made them with that design so it would help with the flex between the frame and the camper. So the. The camper can move a little bit yep. on the frame here, guys. All the mounts are, are spring-fed. There's two springs on front and there's one in back. And they're, I believe, a thousand pounds rated per spring. Do you see that? Does it flex much? Can you tell it flexes much? You can much? tell. You can tell when you go off-roading. And you guys can see it's currently got Bluetooth drive shafts. Uh, he said he was working on, are you like extending them or? No, I'm getting them balanced. Balanced, okay. So how, uh, all right, top speed? Uh, since I put the new tires on it, it'll do about 63. 63? But we usually drive around 55. It just feels comfortable. The, the fan is not kicking on as much, and it just feels right. We're never in a hurry to go anywhere. No, and two-lane roads, back roads, yeah. you don't need to be going fast. You We'd miss the scenery. I'd rather do back roads than highways. So. so, 63 miles an hour. How much fuel does it hold? <laughs> 58 gallons. And your average mile per I, gallon? I think it's about six to seven. That's not, I mean, honestly, that's not terrible. Yeah, I mean, if you were looking at a big pusher rig or something like that, you're gonna be right in the same area. Which we have one of those two. Yeah, is that about the same mileage then? That gets about the same it's mileage. Big. This is just so much cooler. That's my daughter's bus. Two wheel drive. Yep. Yeah, that's nice. So, uh, is, I mean, is there anything around, about the, the rig itself that's any, any different other than, you know, paint job and, and the bigger tires? No, no, it's just a military truck. The interior is still the same. Uh, I did replace the, the rough seats with some uh, seats out of a Ford vehicle. I am going to be building a roof rack on top to carry extra stuff, uh, a couple of ladders on the side. Uh, solar panels should be coming in soon. It'll have a full solar setup, like I said, all propane tanks and propane generator. So we have storage 
box is coming already. So I just put this together a few weeks ago. Yeah, I kind of looked back at the Facebook page. I was like, man, that progressed really quick, and he's out ripping it well, already. We were pretty busy with repair here at the shop, and I'm the only mechanic, so we literally had to stop taking work for me to jump on my own projects. Mm -hmm. So. So did you? Is there any kind of lift at all to it, or just the no, bigger tires? Just, just the, bigger the tires. Tire. Yeah. And what did it have on it? originally I, I believe they're 46s so quite a bit bigger than yeah it does look a lot better it's surprising that you know the camper's like the perfect width to fit on there it just fit on so well do you plan to do anything like a wrap or anything on this no no just I, leave it I like it like that. we are going to continue the color silver and black towards the cab to match it all oh, okay so yeah other than that no it's the we kind of lucked out that the cab was white when we yeah you got a full size spare up there. Is there anything else? Is there something on the other side of uh, that? Just a snorkel. Oh, this is the intake. Yeah. I replaced the lights with some nice LED. LED headlights. Put the new Harleys half. The interior is pretty, pretty stock. Any plans to do anything to oh, the yeah. interior? Oh yeah. Gonna paint the interior white and gray. <laughs> Add some insulation to it. You've got the turret opening on the roof. That's I awesome. I'd like to put a sunroof on there. Like a circular sunroof? Yep. That would be sweet. That would be really cool. And so yeah, guys, basic military vehicle in here. Uh, very utilitarian, but it gets the job done. So is it just considered a three passenger then? Yeah, or can you? It, we call it a, a two? two passenger. Yeah. Yes. Our dog's too big to fit up there. <laughs> Pick up a 120 pound dog to get up there. No thanks. So big air intake here, and then what kind of motor is it? it? It's a Caterpillar motor. I am unsure of which one it is. I couldn't tell you. Holy shit, man. <laughs> <My> neighbor. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Um, so Caterpillar diesel in there. Yeah. I mean, really, it's just overall so simple, but. So amazing. I mean, I don't want to take take anything away from the work. I'm sure it was a bit of effort getting all this put together here. Well, it, uh, continuing on adding more is it's going to be the harder part. Because it only took me two days to literally mount it on there and just run some wiring for the electrical. So getting the solar run through and adding the extra parts of the tank, extending the bumper further back. Okay. That's going to take a little bit of time. That probably won't be done until maybe next next summer but we luckily we have another rig we can use in the meantime are you gonna extend the frame yeah the whole frame back i would that's the plan to extend the frame and bring the, the actual bumper back here and then tuck more storage underneath mm -hmm. of course we got to keep the you know the approach in yeah. departure angle so because we do we do plan on taking these things you know this thing so where most campers won't go and it's nice and tall, you don't have to worry about dragging your water tanks on the ground. <laughs> uh, so everything in the camper is still fully functional yep. and yep. yeah, really awesome. Are you going to, you plan to do anything to cover this or just going to leave yeah, it? Yeah, it's actually, I, I want to put a little storage unit right here, just remove these and make some kind of a square box with locks to make like a little storage. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, there is more to be done yet. I still gotta complete the fender flares and not the fender flares, but the fenders. I should say. You're gonna go all the way around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are the original ones. I still have to get some cut from the plasma table and put it together and all that. Overall, what does this thing weigh? Do you think? I couldn't tell you. No idea. It doesn't drive like it's a heavy vehicle. It's actually pretty smooth. Hmm. So, and I was surprised that the tires that it has are not louder on the highway are they louder like than what you would have like one of these or no they don't, no, they don't about feel the same. they don't sound any louder really but it is for sale if anybody wants it this is yeah everything everything's for sale right for the right price yeah guys that's an amazing rig
All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. I really appreciate Luis letting me come down here to his shop to check out his, uh, his rigs. Uh, these are awesome. And, and like he said, everything's for sale for the right price. So if you wanna check it out, you can check them out at Feral Express on Facebook or uh, Ailman Auto here in Norfolk, Nebraska, ailmanauto.com. You can check them out or you can give them a call if you wanna talk to, some, talk to them about something like this uh, or if you wanna buy one of these. These, it's an amazing rig. That is an amazing rig. When I saw it, I had to come take a look at it. Uh, it was cool to see the van and everything else. So uh, it's given me some ideas. Maybe I need to do some upgrades to the truck, or maybe we need to just move on from that truck here in the future, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, I'm going to close this video out. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.